I died. walked into a store, and you know, you you or someone else has asked some something around these lines. Hi, I'm looking for a new computer. It needs to have a lot of memory because I take and record a lot of photos and videos. And the sales representative or geek, whatever you want to call it, let's just say his name is Mark, says, and like, and he just not says anything, but he just looks at you cross-eyed. And you're like, what? I'm just looking for a new computer that has a lot of memory. Well, the reason why he's looking at you cross-eyed is because you said the wrong thing. Some people think that memory and storage are synonyms. They mean the same thing. But actually, they're antonyms. They, they mean two completely different things, and that's what I'm trying to cover So first things first, let me explain the difference between storage and memory. Let's start with storage first. So storage is how much your computer can hold, how much your computer can store so that whether that is um files videos music uh you know music you know games anything you can basically download takes up storage right but memory on the other hand is completely different storage you know your you know the amount of storage on your computer really depends on what you do hey if you're a youtuber like me you need to download a bunch of softwares games and everything like that Yes, your computer is going to need a decent amount of storage, but if you're just, you know, you know, in the older, you know, in the older audience or whatever, and you're just buying a computer to surf the internet, your computer really doesn't need a lot of storage, but yes, you should get just a teeny bit of storage because you are going to need to download, although you know, most computers come with it, a, a web browser. But let's talk about memory. You need a um, memory on your computer to, to, you know, to make the computer do work. Now, <clears throat> you do need a fairly good amount of memory, but, you know, the bad, one thing, bad thing about memory is that you can keep on adding memory to your computer. You can, you know, keep on adding more memory and more memory and more memory and more memory, but there's one bad thing. Thing. There's just one teeny, 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 teeny bad thing. There's actually a limit, just a small little limit of memory you can have in your computer. But your computer's not gonna say, "Hey, you're going past this, this, um, this, you know, limit." But you can still add more and more memory. You know, even if you went past the limit, it's just your computer's not gonna tell you. And once you go past that limit, it's not like when you're, you know, when you didn't go past the limit, and the more, you know, memory you add, it actually makes your computer run faster and stuff like that. But once you go past that limit, you can still keep on adding on, but it's not gonna make your computer run faster. It's just gonna do nothing. So you're basically wasting your money because you're adding stuff to your computer. You know, once you go past that limit, you know, that's actually gonna do nothing. Now, there was one situation that really bugged me because you know people are not specific these days let's let's look at an ipad think about it when you know when you go to apple they say 16 gigabyte model 32 gigabyte model 64 gigabyte model and so on they just say blank gigabyte model but of course they're talking about storage but of course if you haven't watched this video or you don't really know you don't know the difference between memory and storage and you think it's the same thing but some so people really don't advertise how much you know memory a computer has these days but some products do and since people don't know the difference they might think one you know one machine is better than another machine uh, you know, which, you know, the second machine should be better, but it's not because it has a less memory. Here, I drew, I drew a chart here. So if you want to pause the video, I strongly recommend you can just uh, study this chart right here. You really don't have to study. You're not having a test on it. But let me basically explain. So there's this company named Squidsung, and uh, this tablet picks a tablet and a laptop, and it shows you how much memory a computer has, you know, and how much storage, and then, you know, the tablet and everything like that. So the thing that people mostly advertise in the computer business is storage. Hey, the Squid Top, you, hey, how about you buy the Squid Top 60, 16 gigabyte model? But they don't say that's storage or memory. But, you know, chances are it's probably going to be storage since people mostly, you know, you know, mostly advertise that. And, <clears throat> but so on the, so on the Squid Tab, you know, the tablet, they're advertising, they're advertising the, the storage. But on the Squid Top, they're advertising the memory and that's, and the, and the uh, memory is one gigabyte. Now, the people, you know, the customer might think, how does, 
the squid cat three have more memory than the squid top because the squid top is supposed to do more work because it's a laptop but no it's actually not because you're looking at storage and you're looking at you know uh memory it's like when you're looking at and, and you know in science and math it's like when you're looking at the metric system and you're looking and then you're looking at the customary system or the united states system whatever you want to call it so you're looking in two different categories but when you actually know the difference the squid tab 3 only has 356 megabytes of memory that's a weird number just made it up in the store and it has 16 gigabytes of storage now on the squid top has one gigabyte of memory and 32 gigabytes of storage so when you you know when you look at it the squid top like i said actually can hold more and do more than the squid tab because um uh yeah the numbers and people don't really know that because they don't know the difference so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like and subscribe and until next time we'll see you later a uh, goodbye bye